Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dean here at theparenthoodblog.com, creator of Parenting Obedient Kids and the Choice Empowerment Parenting System. And today I want to talk about something, oh my gosh, I could talk about this forever. I'm going to try to keep myself as limited as possible. I tell you what, we really need a movement. We need to create something that is going to radically change the world. When it comes to media, electronic entertainment, screen time, phones, texting, all of these new modern tools um, and uh, devices that are in our lives, video consoles, television movies, all of the things that have been created. And thank God for technology, okay? I'm not demonizing technology in this discussion. But here's what we need to talk about, holy smoke. We need to take a look at, even though briefly today, how is it that we can be dealing with and managing the media and what my wife and I call screen time in our homes and with our kids. So this is not gonna solve everything, but I wanna talk about, just start the conversation if you're not talking about it today, by looking at three things, okay? Number one, you need to have a system of monitoring the content in your home. Again, I'm just stimulating thought, I don't have all the solutions here, but um, if you can keep the computer and the laptop and a lot of these things in the living room, uh, where everybody is moving in and out so that your kids can um, be in a place of more of an accountable sort of an atmosphere. If you have software um, that you can load up on devices, put parenting controls on devices, you need to do whatever it takes so that you can make sure that the content that's coming through these devices, and right now, holy smoke, there's like three or four or five that your kids have access to. Um, are you, do you have a plan to limit the content, to oversee the content, to understand what that content is that's coming in, on what device, do you care? Are you involved? Number two, the social elements. Holy smoke, I went to eat dinner, my wife and uh, some friends of ours, and in comes this family. They sat next to us on a big table, and there was probably three or four uh, tweens and teens in that family. And they came and they sat down, and the kids walked in, each of them, looking at their device. They sat down. I, some of them, I can't believe, didn't even miss their chair. They sat down because <laughs> they didn't take their eyes off of it, and through the whole dinner. Of course, I wasn't watching them the whole time, but every time I'd glance back, these kids are on these devices the whole time. And I'm thinking, I mean, I know that there are circumstances sometimes or there's special situations maybe when that's okay, but I don't know. It just didn't feel like there was any kind of concern or oversight from the parents that these young people were glued to this thing, weren't interacting with one another, or very little, and they weren't actually interacting with adults. And listen, you are raising your child and your kids to be mature adults who operate in the world, who operate at work, who lead in society. And how are we gonna teach them how to do that socially if they're stuck in these devices? And so the question that you need to ask yourself is this, and this is a whole nother situation we can talk about, but the question is this, just because you can, should you? Just because these companies are making these devices that are cool and swipe and all these things, just because your child can afford one, should they have it? Just because you can take it in your pocket into a restaurant, should they? Just because they can, you know what I'm saying? These are the questions you need to be asking because man alive, we do not want our kids to grow up and not know how to have patience, to be able to relate to people, to look people in the eye, waiters, waitresses, whatever. Talk to adults, have conversation, shake someone's hand. I mean, these are all things that we need to be training our kids. So we gotta be careful because these devices can really you know, hinder their growth. You know what I'm talking about. I don't even need to talk more about that. Here's my biggest concern right here, and then I'll end this vid. I want to challenge you and really throw on the table, again, content, there's issues there. Antisocial behavior, yes. Here's the biggest thing that I think we're not discussing as parents and we need to. Um, again, it goes back to that question. Just because we can, should we? My concern is that our kids are not mature enough, hear me, they are not mature enough to deal with the freedom that having access to these devices and on-demand videos and on-demand all this stuff, I don't believe that our kids are mature enough to handle it. I mean, shucks, even adults are dealing with the social media and the Facebook issues and the addictions and the adrenaline rush that comes from video games. There's addictions, literally, we know this from studies that are happening with even young people and kids and even grown men. 
So the question is, do you have a plan? I'm, again, not saying you have to get rid of these things, but I'm saying, are you simultaneously equipping your kids? Are you doing this in a way that as they grow, you know, when they start here at age four, three, or whatever, are they slowly growing in freedom and in their maturity level? Because if you are not overseeing them, if you don't have a plan to slowly release them into more and more freedom with these devices, as they show you their maturity level can handle it, if you don't have that, if you're giving them total freedom right here, I just think that that's bad. It's going to hurt them because they're not developing the things that they need to develop, self-control, time management. Holy smoke, man, you go and you take away a remote control, you know, some of these remotes or some of these devices from these kids and they turn into monsters, man. It's freaky how they, well, listen, it's because they don't know how to control. They don't have emotional maturity. They don't have the maturity that they need to deal with these things. It's about helping our kids grow and mature so they can interact responsibly with these devices, okay? If you know some parents who need to hear this, who need to join our movement, then uh, connect them with this video, share this, post it, connect people to theparenthoodblog.com, and get to the root and the core of our teaching on choice empowerment parenting over at Parenting Obedient Kids. There's some free in-depth videos over there that I think you're gonna enjoy and it's really gonna help you. So I'll see you next time. Love you, bless you, bye.